Hi, my name is Alex Uria. A question I get all the time from my clients is how to build a landing page for a Google Ads campaign. When you first set up a Google Ads campaign, you need to pick a goal or an objective. Maybe it is to send traffic to your Google business page. Maybe it is to get uh, to make a sale through your website. Maybe it is to get a form submission. But if you want to get phone calls and form submissions, the best way to do it it's sending the traffic to a landing page, which is a dedicated web page that has to be mobile friendly, where your customers are going to learn about your services and your products, and they're going to call you from there. The same concept of building a landing page applies whether you're using or building a Google Ads campaign or a Facebook or even an Instagram campaign. <music> What are the different types of softwares that you can use for building your landing page? Let me tell you, there's a lot of them. There are many different internet platforms that allow you to build landing pages and they're really, really easy to use. The ones I had experience working with in the past are Instapage, which is one of my favorite ones, Onbounce, ClickFunnels, which is another one that's very popular, and even WordPress drag and drop builders. In my own preference, because I build the websites for my clients, I prefer to use WordPress drag and drop builders, mainly because most of the websites I do are built on WordPress and that allows me to build the landing page directly inside my website without having to use some external weird URL by using my own domain name. Regardless of which one you use, they have pretty much the same characteristics and they're going to allow you to build a really good functioning landing page. Say that you build it, say the landing page is ready. Now, why should we be using a landing page versus using the home page of your website? Another common question is why use a landing page and not just the home page of the website? Many people make the mistake, and I consider it a mistake, believe it or not, to send the traffic to your home page. And why is this? The home page is not optimized for conversions for the most part. The home page has links to many other parts of your website because you want to also drive traffic to the About Us page or to different services that maybe are not related to specifically what the potential client was searching for. So you want to send the potential client directly to a landing page that's optimized exactly for the products or the services that he or she was looking for. You want to avoid any type of distractions by sending them to the home page of your website. Just to expand a little bit more on this point on why you should be using a landing page much better than the home page of your website, there has to be a message match between the copy, the ad copy from your Google Ads campaign or your Facebook or Instagram campaign and the text that you have on your landing page. If you're mentioning a coupon, a discount, certain benefits of your products or services on the ad copy from your campaign, you want to mention those on the landing page as well. Also on the landing page, you don't want any links anywhere else on your website. You don't want to get any distractions on sending the customer somewhere else on your website that maybe doesn't make sense. You want to make sure there's, there's two goals here with the landing page. You want to get phone calls and you want to get form submissions. More so, even more so if you are a local business. So there has to be a phone number very visible with a clear call to action. This phone number has to be a mobile click to call. When a visitor is looking at your landing page on a mobile device and they see your number and they click on it or they tap on it, that has to initiate a phone call. You don't want them to go to the extra work of having to type down your phone number on an notepad and then dialing it for the phone. That phone number has to be a mobile click to call. You also want to have a form on your website because many people would prefer to contact you via form. Maybe because they feel intimidated to call you from the very first time. Maybe because that's the preferred way of contacting other businesses. So that form has to be present as well. I don't consider the form submissions as good as a phone call because when you get a potential client on the phone, that's a warm lead. You know, they get a feeling for your voice, for you as a person, and then you can convince them right there on the phone of conducting business with you. When you receive a form submission, what happens very often is that then you call them back and they don't answer. I mean, this is still good. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have it, but it's always better to have a phone call rather than a form submission. Say that you have the landing page ready and that the message is matching what your ad copy had, that the uh, phone number, it's a mobile click to call, that you have the forms on place. 
You also want to have social proof. You want to display reviews. At the very least, I will put four reviews on that landing page or even more reviews from your Facebook page, from your Google page, and even from your Yelp page. What happens if you have the landing page ready and you're not getting enough conversions? You're not getting enough leads. The, the amount of leads that you thought you were going to be getting out of your Google campaign and the landing page. There could be a, a couple of issues here. The first thing I will start is by doing A-B split testing, testing different versions of the, of the landing page to see which one works better for you and which one brings more leads. There are many things you can test like even the colors of the buttons, the positions of the buttons, the call to actions that you have on your website, the place where you put the phone number on the landing page, the headings, the text that you're using on the landing page, everything will be worth testing. But imagine you tested everything and you say, hey Alex, you know what? I'm spending all this much money and I thought I was gonna get, be getting more leads out of this landing page and this campaign. So I'm not getting the kind of results I thought. Then we have to be looking into a couple of other things. Let's go back to your campaign. Let's go back to your Google Ads campaign and see if you're using the right type of keywords. Keywords that show the user's intention of purchasing your products or your services. Let's see if the ad copy that you're using is engaging enough. And if those two things are correct and the landing page is optimized, I'm sure you're going to be getting the type of results that you're expecting. I actually created a video on YouTube that I think will be great for you about how to optimize the keywords, the ad copy and the landing page to get the maximum number of conversions and leads. I invite you to go through my YouTube channel because I think this is right on topic with what we're discussing today. Again, my name is Alex Uria. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, you can send me a message through the contact form on my website alexuria.com or you can give me a call but don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on that notification bell that way you don't miss the upcoming videos you guys have a great day